Kill You With Truth uh, react to the Nuggets getting blown out by the Thunder. Nikola Jokic says, well, yeah, we lost by 40. Everything was bad. The Nuggets last night scored the most points over 142, I think. The most points they've scored at Ball Arena all season. And tonight with 93 points, they scored the least amount of points they have at Ball Arena. <clears throat> In fact, losing by more than 25 points, the final score was uh, <clears throat> 119 to 93. They haven't lost by that kind of margin at home since 2019. They didn't have a player with more than 20 points. It's been 49 games since that's happened. You know, these back-to-backs are tough. The Nuggets, the, the Thunder, first of all, the Thunder are a good team, okay? The Oklahoma City Thunder are a good team. They are a very, they're a younger version of the Nuggets. They have a dominant big man with all sorts of flexibility with Holmgren, although he's more of a four than a five, but still. And then they have Shea Gilgis-Alexander, who's, I mean, phenomenal. So the two-man game that they possess with a great supporting staff. This is a scary sort of team. Now they're probably not quite there yet, but they are damn close. And they're gonna be a tough out in the playoffs and they're just a dangerous team, period. Um, it's SGA at 40 points on 14 of 20 shooting, two for three from three, 10 of 10 from the free throw line. The, the dude dominated. Holgram, uh, who is so impressive, uh, although he's incredibly skinny, but man, he is a tough player. 24 points from him. Meanwhile, with Jokic, I mean, 19, 10, and 7, he was 9 of 10 shooting. So he's 9 of 10 tonight. He was 11 for 11 last night. I mean, he's 20 for 21. I mean, the dude has missed one shot in two games. I mean, even on a bad night, and um, he did have a bad night for a different reason. Even on a bad night, Nikola Jokic is still stunning to watch. And, you know, he's tortured by having to talk to the muggles, media slugs like me and other people. I mean, why does he want to do it? But he does it. He's very professional about it. Um, but the message from Malone and from Jamal Murray, and basically Jokic was kind of a shrug your shoulders sort of deal. They have played a lot of games. Um, the Oklahoma City Thunder have four games in hand to the Nuggets. It's crazy. It's nuts. So now they're tied for second in the West. But, I mean, you know, they're going to win more games. So you, you got to put Oklahoma City maybe two games in front of the Nuggets. The schedule will eventually catch up to the Nuggets at some point. But these back-to-backs are pretty brutal. And the amount of games the Nuggets have had, they've arguably had the hardest game, or hardest schedule in the in the NBA. So, okay, here, here you go. And without Aaron Gordon, who's such a great pick-me-up, Peyton Watson was, he started again tonight, had 14 points, 6 of 12 shooting, but only 1 of 6 from 3. I don't know what's going on with Zeke Naji. I mean, that dude is not getting any games. He barely got into a blowout last night and a blowout tonight. And this was a blowout. Like Michael Malone said, it's just an ass kicking that the, um, the Nuggets suffered through. So, and, and Jamal had a bad night. Jamal was 5 of 15, 1 of 6 from 3, only 9 points. But here's where the game really turned. And it's tricky to say anything critical about Jokic because he's so good. But Malone pointed out the difference in the game really were 17 turnovers that resulted in 25 points. And the one thing the Nuggets have been doing um, better this year than they, they have, or they did it well in the playoffs, but they were struggling with it during the year, were turnovers. And, and Malone did point out, well, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot if you go from, say, 17 turnovers a game to 13, but it's the points off those turnovers and if it's 8 to 10 points, well, yeah, I mean, that can be a lot. So 17 turnovers for 25 points, and Jokic had 7 turnovers. But again, what are we going to do? Criticize Jokic? Um, who else had turnovers? Uh, Julian Strother had 3. Jamal had 2. But yeah, that hurt. 7 turnovers. Meanwhile, Reggie Jackson is in a shooting funk. 
He was 3 of 10 tonight, 2 of 5 from 3. Just off. If you look at his um, shooting percentage over the past nine games, well, the Nuggets have been good. You know, the Nuggets have won nine of their last 11 games. So it's been good, but Reggie's not been good. The shooting's been off, and... You know, maybe there's something with him coming off the bench that's just a different rhythm than starting like he had been for Jamal. Listen, let's not make too much out of this. It's not that big of a deal. It felt kind of cool coming into the game because you knew how good Oklahoma City is, and they're good. So first and foremost, give credit to Oklahoma City, okay? This wasn't getting beat by the Pistons on an off night. This is getting beat by a, a good team, and... Um, They've had weird games. They've had three interesting games. They blew them out in Oklahoma City. They got blown out here for their third loss of the year. Kind of a historic loss because they haven't lost like this at home in a long time. And uh, they they lost on a buzzer beater. They got one more game in Oklahoma City, and that'll be interesting. But again, you just have to deal with this NBA schedule, and you just realize the Nuggets will win way more than they'll lose. And when the schedule just sort of eases up for them, Hopefully they can go on a good run. But disappointing night here at uh, Ball Arena. Nuggets with a couple of days off, and they'll be back at it on uh, New Year's Day. A home game indeed. So here you go. Kill you a truth. This game just kind of sucked. <laughs> Period. Wish I had better news on a Friday night.